guys and welcome to the follow-up video to my uh, barbell sort of like placement and what you can be doing with your hands uh, when you're squatting whether it's low bar or high bar uh, this this is more tailored towards a low bar squat where you're really it, it, so like going excessive with the amount of mobility that's required in the pecs um, in order to achieve that position and so I just wanted to share with you the stretch that is going to help you with that so what we're going to do is place your hand on a fixed object like a cage or a door frame and you're just going to achieve this position here now typical chest stretch is up here we're looking at sort of like 90 degree angles with the elbow and the shoulder i want to go more of an angle like this so we're still keeping 90 at the elbow but we're actually coming in for like more of a 30 degree um, acute angle at the shoulder and so we're going to apply the same principles of just turning away with the body I'll come around here so you can see what's going on but allowing that elbow to have freedom and if you can allow that to turn up as you turn away you're going to get a much better stretch on the pec minor that's sort of responsible responsible for pulling the shoulder in and so when you take it in the opposite direction it gets a big stretch stretch and if you can practice that daily, two or three times a day, um, you know, and the protocol being like a, a, 10 a 10 second stretch, followed by like a 10 second push into the cage. So you wanna be contracting that muscle uh, for a good five, 10 seconds. So what that does, it just sort of like um, tells the, the brain to not freak out as much because all the little muscle spindles in the tissues Get, get tugged on, they freak out, send a relay message to the brain, the brain wants to go like, oh no, 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 don't, don't stretch. So it's a really good strategy to stretch, contract, and then stretch again, and the brain calms down, and then you can take it a lot further where you're gonna get much more effective developmental stretching. So remember that, stretch, contract, stretch, in that order. 10 seconds a piece, and then you can switch sides, give it a break, and you can just easily do the other side. Um, when to do this, as I said, you can do it multiple times throughout the day for developmental stretching, and it's also gonna be beneficial if you have got really tight pecs and you're struggling um, to get that low bar position, you can do it immediately beforehand as well, because there's gonna be sort of like a, a very short term buffer of mobility that's gonna be had from doing that stretch in the short term. And then of course, being regular with it over a longer period of time is gonna give you that longer term sort of like mobility that we're looking for. And then, after a while, you might not need to do it as much anymore. Well, there you go.